Alice Kay from the Literary Apothecary, and today we're going to do our weekly reading wrap-up for the week of August 8th to the 14th. First, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers out there, especially thank you to our new subscribers. We have Red H4 Hawk, Jody Stybard, Henrik Inosia Cavalcanti, and Seventh Lady. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It really means the world to me. And without you, I'd just be sitting here talking about books to myself. So thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. I hope you really like what you see. Now today I have a small book haul to go over with you guys. I got a bunch of books from friends and a book that I ordered myself. So I'm going to do a short book haul and then we'll get into the reading. So Sharon at Sharon Dwyer sent me The Obelisk Gate, which is book two. In the Broken Earth series, I just finished the fifth season and I absolutely loved that and I can't wait to see where the story goes. So now I have book two and I can continue my read. Hopefully maybe in September or October I'll be able to fit this in and I can't wait to see where that story goes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sharon. I ordered for myself the Reincarnationist Papers by D. Eric Macrins and this is the book that the movie Infinite was based on and it's basically based on the idea that there are certain people in the world that remember their past lives through reincarnation and some people want to end it and some people want to use that knowledge to make the world better and make people better and this is kind of a research book for me for a writing project that I'm working on right now based on reincarnation and schizophrenia and how those two might be linked so I can't wait to read this book because I really enjoyed watching the movie but as we know the book is usually better than the movie so I can't wait to get into this. Evie at She Was Only Evie sent me Lancelot by Giles Christian and I've been looking at this book for so long I love everything to do with the Arthurian legend and retelling so I can't wait to get into this I know a bunch of my friends also have this book so we might start a buddy read at some point but I'm very excited about this one my good friend Kate sent me the bear assed banditi the men of the 45 which is all about the 45 um, rebellion in Scotland which is basically what Outlander is based off of and this is the basically a historical book on that and I can't wait to read this. Thank you, Kate. All these people, I'll put their links down in the description below. You guys got to go check them out. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to them. They're fantastic and they're some of my best friends. So I can't wait to read all of these great books. But let's talk about what I am reading right now. So I am about 100 pages from the end of Malice by John Gwynn and I am enjoying this book so much. I can't wait to see how these last 100 pages turns out and then move on to book two in um, I think September or October I'll be reading that with Sharon and I've been enjoying this a lot I still think this is a far five star book for me I made a prediction at the very beginning that this would be a five star I'm enjoying this journey a lot I love all of the different characters that we get to learn some people have a problem with all the different characters that John Gwynn uses in here and the different perspectives but I absolutely love it because you don't know who is a good guy and who's a bad guy and you can sympathize with all of the characters in this book and so I absolutely love that I love all the characters I love the setting the world the magic everything about this book is just so exciting to me so I can't wait to see what happens in the last 100 pages of this I'm also making my way through Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. And this is book one in the band series and this book is so much fun. Bas the, basically they have these bands in this fantasy world which are mercenary troops. Um, they kind of form themselves together and they're supposed to essentially in this book resemble kind of the 80s hair bands. And our Kings of the Wild is a band that is reforming after being apart for several years now they're older and they have to go and essentially save one of their own daughters um, who has also formed her own band and she's in trouble so I'm really enjoying this this is hilarious prose the characters are great and 
I can't wait to see where this story goes. I'm a little less than halfway through this book and I'm absolutely loving it so much. Now, when I'm done with when I'm done with Malice, I'll be moving on to The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. And you've heard me talk about this book before. You're going to hear a lot about this book because this is a um, read-along that's going from August to September to October. So I'll have this in a lot of my check-ins. And I can't wait to finally start this later today and see what it's all about. This will probably be an immersion read for me where I listen to the audiobook along with the text. Um, I've heard that there's one particular audiobook that's really good and I will link that down in the description below. Um, I can't wait to get into this book because I've been wanting to read this for so long now I can finally read it. And then my next two reads will be Ink and Bone part book one in the Great Library series by Rachel Kane and this is a buddy read with my friend Sharon at Sharon Dwyer. We're going to be doing kind of a magical library series where every other month we read a book based on a magical library and do a live show about it and we're both so excited for this series. We have so many books that deal with magical libraries. We're like let's just make a series out of it and read all of these together because we're both so excited. So I can't wait to get into Ink and Bone and I just love that co cover. It makes me excited to read the book. And then the last next read that I'll be talking about is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This is a standalone. At last we have a standalone and this is going to be a birthday read for me. Um, my friend Murr at Murr Reads, her birthday is at the end of August and this is one of her absolute favorite books. And so I'm going to be reading this for her birthday and I can't wait to read it because I've heard such great things about it. It's one of those eye-opening, light-hearted books that is going to be really good amongst some of these heavier, denser fantasy books. So I can't wait for Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And that is my reading wrap up for this week. Let me know in the comments below what you read this past week, what you're looking forward to reading next week. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.